periodic law states that the chemical properties of the elements are periodic functions of their atomic number. When Mendeleev first wrote his ideas about the periodic law and organized his periodic table, or the original periodic table in the 1800s, he thought that the properties were based on the atomic masses. But now, the modern idea is that the periodic trends vary with atomic number. The atomic number, of course, is the number of protons in the nucleus. And sometimes, the atomic number is abbreviated with the capital Z. So the atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus. The modern periodic table is arranged. Um, from atomic number 1 up to over 100. So there's been over 100 elements that have been identified either isolated or synthesized um, on the modern periodic table. Now, in order to further your understanding of the properties and changes in properties of matter, that is chemistry, then you must be familiar with some basic chemical properties of the elements that can be predicted by the position of those elements on the periodic table. So as you continue to study chemistry, you should ask yourself why such periodic properties exist, and then throughout the course of a few semesters of studying chemistry, you should begin to come to understand and more fully appreciate the periodic table of the elements. But for now, um, you must be familiar with some basic chemical properties. If you've already looked at this periodic table, I urge you to go to ptable.com and spend at least 10 to 15 minutes to continue to review the basic structure of the periodic table and the names of the different parts of the periodic table. You should also start to become familiar with some of the chemical properties. For example, for the metals, you should know that metals have a characteristic luster that can be observed, that metals are um, good conductors of both heat and electricity are malleable, which means they can be hammered into sheets, and that they're ductile, which means they can be drawn into wires. Whereas the nonmetals have opposite chemical properties. They have no luster, they're dull, they're not good conductors, and they're not malleable or ductile, but rather they're brittle. They tend to shatter when you hammer them out. These chemical properties are dependent upon both the atomic number and the arrangement of the electrons, which you'll come to understand further as you move along. The other thing you should do is take a look at this more basic periodic table of the elements. It's not as fancy as the online interactive, but one thing you need to be note of is that sometimes on older periodic tables, the elements are classified, um, uh, the groups are classified differently. In the modern periodic table, there's just numbers, 1, 2, 3, across the groups, up to number 18. Whereas in this particular version of the periodic table, there are numbers followed by a letter, 1a, 2a, 3b, 1b, 2b, here's 3a, etc. This is a, an older naming system where the a's are their representative elements, where the A's are the representative elements, and the B's series is the transition elements. You will come to understand details of the representative versus transition as you study, but for now you must recognize that sometimes periodic tables are numbered differently. Another thing that you should know about the periodic table is that there are seven characteristic elements that exist as diatomic at, um, elements in diatomic molecules in nature. Um, those seven are nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, and hydrogen. And what we mean when we say that they exist as diatomic elements is that in nature you will find hydrogen as H2, nitrogen as N2, Oxygen is O2, fluorine is F2, chlorine is Cl2, bromine as Br2, and iodine is I2. 
This is because of the way the electrons are arranged in the individual atoms such that the stable form of these elements um, in nature are as the diatomics. You must memorize this list. In addition, you need to be familiar with most of the names of the elements and their elemental symbol. And there are worksheets to practice that. You can make flashcards. You can look at the interactive table. But nevertheless, you need to be familiar with the elements, the names, and the elemental symbol of the more common elements. And those are the elements ranging in atomic number 1 up to atomic number 96.